Hi friend, today I will be discuss how to set up Angular 6 project with HP.NET Core and Entity Framework with Reactive Form. In this form, showing four field name, email, contact number, address. Every field uh, in every field also implement validations like this required, required, required. Address field is optional field. Name uh, like this uh, Vikas uh, Max name and email like this max but showing enter valid email here gmail.com update a contact number and enter valid contact number okay after that and enter valid email okay dot com address and like this tally and save data data save successfully here and data showing in my list max daily this is my content number and similar to like this and the next record is yarn Okay, now save record, Ryan, and next record is Okay, now I'm saving my data Now, after showing my data, and showing here list and like this pagination showing in my list this and we can also filtering data here and no data record found and like this max showing data and also we can uh, search data by city name address daily and also like this Nevada similar to we can filtering data every field and we can also delete this record here and delete button after we can also edit button we can also edit this field and like this delete okay uh, Vishal I have deleted but refresh my page and my record has been successfully deleted start my visual studio after that click file and open new project here dot net core and uh, hp dot net core by uh, core by application here and uh, write down the project name web app web app is my project name here select angular application and click after that add api in this project and uh, here click on new project and if you don't need the application write down the new web API and after that click here and uh, select API and after that click here OK Add new layer in this project and uh, name this class library web data layer. This layer are totally responsible for data handling. In this project, add new layer. This name dot class uh, class library and uh, change the name. Web call layer. This layer totally responsible for the business logic. Okay. After that, I am testing my API. This is my API, and I am testing now. Set up a project and run IS Express. Now my API running. I have been tested.
this is my API and uh, okay this is my API and uh, now I am running my angular application web app and uh, some steps we have to following like this and uh, run I run uh, angular application and do uh, web app layer client app go to the client app right click on the client app and open a cmd I write down the query this ng sub that does open okay here this is a project this is my web app, web app and here client app open folder in explorer write down here cmd and do write down the query ng sub dash dash open this is command for using we can run angular application ok the server command required to be run in angular project but a project definition could not be found uh, now in which case uh, we have to install npm latest write down the here and enter now my angular CLI installing now my package has been successfully installed next step is that install npm now my npm successfully installed and next step is that write down the here ng serve open ok write down the again because uh, before here I write down the uh, the wrong query ng serve let us open in capital but I and I have to use ng serve open in small now my project compiling now my project has been successfully compiled this is my project localhost 40720 this is running project now and uh, home counter patch data ok I will try to implement a employee module in this project here home counter patch data here uh, I add a employee module and uh, next step is that add a component in my application this is my web application and here angular client app this this like this and here and uh, using the command control c here and after that yes and uh, create a component using command and this is command for using add new component and uh, client app open a cmd this is command for using to the generator component employee module and uh, write down the query here and the client app component name and the generate component and this is my module employee component.html employee.component.specific.es add successfully component here and html after that add a, C add a service similar to ngs service employee service change the name here employee service and uh, write under this query this command copy here and uh, paste ok and enter ok successfully add service in my project uh, this is my project here and this is client app 
this is my web application here web app inside the src client app src and update app inside the app showing my uh, employee module here this is employee inside the employee employee.component css employee.component.html employee.component.ts and similar to add a service employee.service.ts here and uh, this service i add by and uh, cmd and similar to we add component html and css by cmd using command this is my employee component here this is my component and uh, already added here employee.component.html employee.component.css and after that this is my um, this is as employee module here this is my main module this is name is the app module here already employee component added here and employee component this and we can add routing here for um, uh, we can add routing and this is my component employee component employee component and uh, we can write the we can write down here path name this is my path for routing this is root module and here a module this is my app component here the here this is my menu menu component this is my menu html okay here this is my menu list this is my this is my path name here write down here router link inside the my path and employee and change the name add employee and here here this is my employee module and this is employee html okay and uh, employee works and uh, after that and uh, okay now my uh, my application is running and this is my application compiling here and here running and uh, here and after that i am showing my application on browser and this is home this is counter this fetch data this is the add employee this is my employee component dot html here and uh, this is my and uh, this is my html here and uh, after that this is my form here add new employee and uh, this is my form group uh, form group and this name is a uh, customer customer form and this is button ng submit save customer and uh, write down the here level name email contact number address similar to like this this is a reactive form and uh, this is a form control name name form control name email and uh, also implement validation and uh, and uh, write on the here the ng class validation validate name similar to the ng class and here the and uh, also implement validation validate name this is a function and this is a customer form name this name error required this is a form group the uh, in, uh, in this slide as a form group and uh,
name and email this is a form control and import here form group form control validator and uh, inside the angular form okay and uh, this is a um, after that and unit this is my email pattern expression here this is my phone validation expression and uh, here we implement validation and this dot name is equal to new form form control validator dot is required is required and similar to here and write down the email pattern for email validation and after that all property set in the customer form new form group here name this is equal to this dot name after that write on the function here and uh, here this is my function name is shape customer and, uh, and we can change the name as per my requirement save employee here save employee and this is my HTML page here save customer here save employee and do here and here add a service and service this is my service import service name is employee service employee service service and form Employee component I am looking at a service implement component dot service here environment whole this is my employee service here do after that employee service my employee service is here and this employee service name and here and change the name as per my employee service here and uh, in the my constructor here and write on the employee private ENP and write on the near name here employee service create an instance like this private employee service and uh, Okay, this query right on inside the constructor here. Wait for okay. This EMPL service this and change the name as per my uh, service name. This save employee here subscribe data and wait the here and this is my service here employee service inside the employee service and uh, we have to import http client and http client import the package http client for and api calling and this is my here inside the constructor and in create an instance and after that call a function and this is my function here and the function name is save employee here change the as per my requirement save employee root not found doesn't matter and read only write on the here this is my api api path and this name root api home save user okay and uh, here this is my app module here in this app module and uh, reactive form and uh, ng form module and similar to reactive form module we have to mention here the reactive form also because i am using the reactive model reactive form okay and mention here the service also 
and uh, this is my service employee service now this employee service inside the M module and providers we have to write down the here here employee service and employee import here employee service import employee service and given path here and uh, here like this this is the employee service here and uh, okay This is my form and here we can write on the name and here email email but enter valid email and CSS note is working here this is my CSS, CSS control and control and uh, this is CS file here and write on the my employee component.cs here my validation CSS is now working and uh, enter valid contact number this is my validation and like this enter valid number here contact number 8976 okay this is my valid contact number enter email and write on the here and uh, write email email.com this and this is right email if I change the and if I write on the wrong email and uh, enter valid email and suppose that I'm not uh, write down here email so then showing the required email validation and this is my form and after them and email I like this my email and this contact number address and uh, valid email Okay, and this is my button now enable because my form all form is enable after that click here my data is post on and controller component address contact number email and name and this is my service here and uh, okay this is my data here and after that data posting and on my server save user this is my API and API home control and save user This is my web API here. Uh, we have to add a controller. This is controller folder in controller folder. Add a controller. This is API controller. Add home controller. Add my reference and uh, controller has been successfully add in my controller list. And uh, after that, add reference. Add reference here. Web core and web data web core and web data in my api layer <coughs> after that and this is my code layer inside the code layer add a, a new item a class employee service add here here interface <laughs> after that and this is my controller uh, this is my home controller inside the home controller and uh, and uh, import here and uh, interface
Here inside the control constructor, we initialize my interface in instance here. Employee, this employee, and uh, this is my service here. And uh, this is my employee service inside the employee service. The root URL is this, and uh, API home and save employee save employee this is my function and call from the angular service okay and this is my uh, home controller here the home controller we can write we can uh, write a function this name function name is save employee okay after that this is my database here database name is customer db inside the customer customer db this is my table and table name is user account inside the user account have a uh, table inside the full name name email contact number address here this is my database okay and uh, this is my uh, data layer and uh, this is web data layer inside the web data layer and uh, we add a folder a name folder name model and inside the model folder inside the model we add item item name is class this is model Okay, this is our database name, email, contact number, add property here. user account this is my model are using my and similar to the my table and after that user account model and the call here user and uh, after that and uh, and add reference to web data okay now i am adding entity framework in my applications and dependency add reference project manage new get here and uh, browse here install here just i am looking that and how many uh, and package install my applications that hp.net core entity framework are installing or not Okay, is Microsoft Entity Framework Core by this package has been already installed. Okay, otherwise in your application does not install, so please and browse here and search here Entity Framework Core and this Microsoft Entity Framework Core. You can install here. After that, installing HP.NET Core applications 
एंड हेयर एड अ क्लास क्लास नेम इज कस्टमर डीबी कंटेक्स ओके इन दिस क्लास इंप्लीमेंट एंड डीबी कस्टम डीबी कंटेक्स एंड यू आल्सो कंस्ट्रक्टर हेयर पब्लिक and the customer db context yeah after that and uh, we can write on the this code here and uh, this is my class here public partially and uh, here control kd db context class using microsoft entity framework this is my class and using db contact db contact is a part of the entity framework customer db contact is a my class and here okay user account user account to it is my model and table user account this here this user account and here and using my model and this is my part of the entity framework i have it successfully here and uh, after that this is part of the my api inside the api this is a app setting inside the app setting and we add here my connection string like this and uh, here this is my connection string and uh, after that uh, this is my connection string this is my uh, database name integrate okay here this is my entity framework customer db contacts uh, this is the my uh, configuration of entity framework after that connection string mentioned in my app setting dot json uh, app setting json dot json are in part of the baby pay and after that and inside the ebay pay have a class startup.cs here we have to mention here inside the my startup.cs file uh, here add customer db customer and db context and using the data here and this is my and this uh, app setting this is my to study here Here, this is my string uh, staging. Uh, here, this is my uh, database connection string name, and uh, this is my file of startup dot uh, cs. Startup dot cs file uh, is the part of the web API, and the SQL server uh, is not meeting here. And uh, please here add. We have to add a package. Manage new get package manager. Here, search. I am looking at a uh, SQL Server Compact Entity Framework and SQL Server Compact. This package uh, install now. Accept. Okay. Uh, 
and uh, the name of the end of file expected okay user sql server here using microsoft entity framework okay and this is my system here now access my data access layer in my employee service and uh, right on the here Okay, this is customer DB here in the upper deck. Customer DB contact and it's like as a constructor inside the constructor and uh, here. Context here and uh, this is my interface. And this is a home controller inside the home control i implement private read only employee service in the employee service and like this and employee dot you save employee write on the write on the function here and user and save employee after that return make a uh, make a function and uh, this is interface here inside the interface implement this and after that interface implement here employee service and uh, implement interface here and after interface implementation here and write down the contacts dot user account dot add here user okay and you can text and dot save changes and save changes and return and true here I've done the try catch and try and and return the code inside the try after that catch This is right. Uh, this is write down the code for uh, data insert in entity by entity framework in a table. This is my entity framework instance and table. This is my table and this here add user. And user account save changes. And do home controller. I employee interface and employee service. Both are interface and service are uh, today. Include in startup.cs here survey dot add transmit and I employ service and employ service because and sp.net code and support automatically dependency injection does not require any external framework. Okay, and you can also uh, this is enable chorus and we have to uh, enable chorus if you are using hp.net code API enable chorus my policy here enable and write on the code here and service dot add chorus add policy my policy allow origin allow method allow header inside the startup dot cs you have to remember that always that uh, hp dot net core always support automatically dependency injection all service and interface always uh, mention here so, startup dot cs inside service dot add transient employee service and similar to always add chorus 
in your startup.cs file after that and uh, okay and uh, my api is running now and uh, my application is here and uh, today i am just refresh and uh, write down the name and visa vikas and uh, this is email id vikas at the rate gmail.com and after that contact number 78 like this and address similar to daily and uh, submit after submit button my hit on uh, server i am just debugging here and uh, after that my model post on uh, service here contact number email id name and uh, after that my data has been saved successfully okay save successfully data has been saved successfully or oh, this is my db here and after execute query one record inserted in db this is my function name here write down the um, get all customer get all okay employee get employee this is a function call after page load and given a definition of function here control v and uh, like this and uh, after that and uh, similar to like this here and uh, get all employee write down the query here and uh, after that subscribe data and and this dot data is equal to data and uh, after that and uh, data is de declare here and uh, here as uh, data any data format and uh, after that get all employee write down the my service here this is my service b okay control b control x this is my function get user list and uh, here write down the function name get employee get all employee and uh, after that get all employee here and uh, after that this is part of my uh, home controller home controller inside the home controller oh sorry this is my home control write down the function here and stop the my application firstly and uh, this is my home controller and write down the have function uh, public this function name and after that and return and write, write on the here written type written type data as a uh, list list format and user account okay and uh, write down the here http get and return and stop application firstly here and uh, return and employee uh, sorry employee dot get all employee write down this function write down the here function get all employee in my on my controller and after that generate method get all employee in I employ service here and uh, return type is write down the here function like this okay 
after that this is my service here employee service and implement uh, function here return text dot uh, user account dot list oh uh, here does not show showing uh, to list the so please add here uh, using system link you after that dot to list find and do uh, this is my function written here list okay and return data on client side and this is my data here and three list uh, coming in my and uh, coming in my list three list and my data coming all data coming client side three li uh, three record coming in my list and update that and i will implement ng2 smart table in my application okay and the first one step is that npm install ng2 smart table in my application okay here this is my uh, cmd now my package is stalling and the uh, next step is that import ng2 smart table in my here and this is my web app inside the web app client oh sorry client app inside the client app src inside inside app 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 dot model dot yes okay to smart table after that ng2 smart model here and after that this is my template here ng2 smart table and where is my html page and uh, and this employee model inside the employee model this is my html page and I write down here this is my table and it is my table setting here and do my package now stalling and do after that this is my setting here this code write down the this is a uh, this is data setting this code write down component here in this setting write down the similar uh, field like uh, just like a database here email after that contact number and after that here write down the address now my pack package has been successfully installed this is ng2 smart table and uh, after that ng server open and uh, my application now starting after compiling my application so it is uh, showing this error uh, computer editor component dot js not found okay and it had search on google and uh, and after that and he saying that he uh, saying that about install and to install ng2 complete uh, completator and okay now my package has been successfully installed ng2 uh, ng2 completator here and after that run my application and this is command for running application ng server open and my package uh, my, now my application compiling compiled successfully and my application this is running now okay we can add new record here
and Nevada. After that, click here and save successful record here and and my list not refresh. Uh, okay. And new record in the showing my list and after that and do this is my component here employee component and do this function get all employee and write down here after on data success and uh, okay after that and here this is my list write down the hair company name and tada here dot com here add on the contact number Nevada and after that I click here save button and record save successfully and showing in my record here and pagination here and the Tada record here showing and this is my pagination also and we can also filter data and like this component and uh, here and you to smart table setting this is here setting pager display to and per page like this and this is my column field here contact number here add action false my action not visible here okay now we are adding here delete button edit button similar to like this one or more than one button here let us start and uh, this is my component after action calls and not visible my action here after we can implement custom delete button edit button and add button more than one as per my requirement this is my button here delete button and this is my custom type and render component in this button we render here component this is my um, component name is button view component yeah we can say that delete button component and we can add a custom component here like this and uh, create a component here in this employee field add new a new item script type script file and write down the here control v delete button component here ok now we have add delete button component in this field and uh, we have write down here code and uh, see and okay and but my component name is delete button component and store my application firstly and okay this is my delete button component here and in this component and we, we import ng2 smart table we call also routing and nginit like this and this is my template here in this template we can write down one or more than one button here like this button and title class title delete and class btm and danger and this is my delete button ok after click this button and do uh, and do uh, input at the rate input value and, and at the rate output order ok this component we are using as a entry component and uh, this is my component here 
and uh, like this this is my show design and we add here delete button component and delete button component and here here delete button component import first delete button component here import here and this is my delete button component import delete button component here and this is my module here and this is a path complete path delete button component similar to this delete button component import in app.module.ts here this app.module.ts we have to entry delete button component as a entry component here remember that and also here implement import and declare delete button component and also import delete button component okay I give you here complete path and uh, now uh, this is my uh, delete button component in this component this is my here and this is my uh, HTML template here we mention delete button the, like this and uh, after that click a function okay and uh, this is my here in this my component write down the function delete employee record in this uh, delete employee record after click here and uh, import the service this is my service here employee service this service and after this service and uh, inject in my constructor here and after create an instance and call delete function after call uh, delete function delete employee function this render value here and subscribe and uh, after that and write down the function in my employee uh, here this is my delete employee record here and uh, after that call delete employee function this is my uh, this is function on my api and uh, after that this is my home controller here my home controller write down the function here for delete employee record and like this and uh, after that and this is my i service here i write down the function this delete employee after that this function write down on employee service this is my employee service here in this employee service delete employee record and and fetch the data from table uh, table after that uh, remove using entity framework and save change and return data from my read component here like this and now testing now test my application okay after refreshing we implement joan uh, noeda and uh, contact number like this email and now delete my record delete successfully my record successfully delete after ref refresh page I'm saying that Joan record is not available in my list. Now, uh, now I will be add in this list edit button here also like this. And uh, this is my component delete button component and uh, like this and uh, okay this button and also repeated here and uh, change the class danger and like primary change tax primary primary after that change added and like this here a class is like pencil something like this same and refresh my page and save html okay now uh, in my list I have showing the two button delete and edit also okay this button delete this is the edit button here we can